Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Learning Gallery, the place where you could find the key to success. Well, you must be thinking that what I am doing in front of you without discussing any topic related to science. Let me tell you, today's discussion is going to be held on the most important physiological process in our body. Yes, you are right. Today we are going to discuss about respiration and I will not explain it just theoretically. Yes, today I will show you a very interesting model on respiratory system and I will tell you how does this process continue within our body 24-7 since our birth and there is a surprise for you like every day today i will also show you how to make the 3d model by using the minimum equipments of your house so without wasting any more let's get started respiration was first used to describe the breathing that is exchange of gas between the organism and environment subsequently the term was used in a wider sense including breathing transport of gas as well as the oxidation of food leading to liberation of carbon dioxide and energy. The human respiratory system consists of a pair of lungs and a series of air passages leading to the lungs. It consists of nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi and bronchioles. There are two main steps in breathing, inhalation and exhalation. Inhalation is the process of breathing in by which air is brought into the lungs and expulsion of air from the lungs into the environment is called exhalation. A thin skeletal muscle called diaphragm helps in this process. So now we will see the model how it is made and later on we will do the experiment to see how it works okay so join me for the experiment to be done we need a plastic bottle cello tip you could use colorful tip as well as white tip a knife a scissor few balloons actually we need three balloons in my experiment straw and a needle like this okay well this kind of straw is easily available with the fruit drinks here I will have this drink first and use this straw in my experiment then with the help of this knife I will cut the bottle from this position Now with the help of this needle, I am going to make a hole at the center of the cap. Okay, so let's do it. I will make this hole in such a way so that this straw could easily get entered through it. See? Well, now I will cut a small portion of the straw here and insert another straw in this position so that it forms a Y-shaped structure. Okay, so it's ready. I have applied a small amount of white tape at this position to seal the gap. Now I will attach these two balloons at the topmost portion of these two pipes with the help of a cello tip. And these two balloons will act as the lungs in this model. Okay, so let's do it. So it's ready. Here you could see this will act as the trachea, and these two are the lungs. Now I will insert this whole structure inside the bottle like this. Okay, and with this cap, I will make it close. Well, now 
I will cut another balloon from this position. I will attach this balloon at this position of the bottle and make it a closed chamber. Okay? Now, to prevent the air pass, I will apply the cellotip around this. Tie a thread over here so that no air could pass through it. Okay? This red balloon will act as the diaphragm in this experiment. So here is the model ready for experimentation. Now when I am pulling out this balloon, you could see the cavity expands in size. Consider this is the chest cavity. This expansion of the cavity creates a partial vacuum and therefore to fill that vacuum space, air enters from the environment through the straw here into the balloons as a result it swells up after that when i'm releasing it the diaphragm relaxes this leads to the decrease in the volume of the chest cavity which increases the pressure on the lungs so the air in the lungs is pushed out and it passes out through trachea and nasal cavity into the environment Similarly, in this way, air enters through the nose and reaches to our lungs, more specifically to the alveoli, and the less oxygenated air is expelled into the environment following the same pathway in backward direction. So that's it. And I think this video will be really very helpful for my student friends who wants to make any 3D model in their schools, right? Well, in this pandemic situation where the whole world is suffering from the respiratory problem, I think it is very important to know all of you these days especially. I will discuss the more detail about respiratory process that is cellular respiration in another day. Well, if you like this video, then hit the like button which will motivate me for making this kind of videos just for you. And let me know in the comment section that have you ever made this kind of 3D model in your school. I'll be really waiting for your response. And share this video with your friends and close ones. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe our channel which is absolutely free. I think everything is done. Another message for today, in this pandemic situation, without any emergency, don't go outside. If you have to go, then must use face mask and wash your hands several times with hand wash and carry hand sanitizer with you all the time. So thank you for watching. Now I'm signing off, but I'll meet you very soon. Till then, you take care, stay positive and bye-bye. And mind it, one thing, we have to overcome this situation and we will.